usually be a busy place, but recently fewer people seem to be passing through these gates. Airlines say the number of passengers has dropped since the quake. Some have suspended their routes. My friends in Shanghai are worried. They told me not to go to Japan yet. Most of my Chinese classmates studying in Japan have gone back home. They're still in China. This travel agent has been planning vacations for its Chinese clients. But calls for cancellations came soon after the quake. The company says lost income from Chinese tourists through the end of May could total over one million dollars. I was shocked. I wondered how I should manage the company, and also how to pay our employees. We have almost no income now. Tour buses, a mainstay for local tourism, are also being hit by the decline in tourists. About 70 buses stand idle at this garage. The company cancelled all but one of its foreign language tours due to lack of demand. There are still aftershocks, and the situation changes every day. We can only plan 10 days ahead. And handle things as they come. This is Ginza, a popular tourist shopping destination. The fall in tourists is hurting business even at this established Japanese restaurant at the center of Ginza. The restaurant has seen rough times through its 60-year history. This is the third floor. With so few customers, we closed the floor. Overseas tourists made up over half the company's customers in January. Now they only serve one or two a day. The impact of the earthquake is affecting many things in other areas. But we need to accept it. And keep doing what we can. For many tourist companies, it's a challenge to keep business up and running. They're hoping that as long as they keep their doors open, tourists will start coming back. Emily Wang, NHK World.